when the Sahaba were at the lowest of the low, the Prophet was speaking at the highest of the high. When the Sahaba, they're almost losing hope. Allah says in the Quran, وَتَظُنُّونَ بِاللَّهِ الظُّنُونَ Allah says in the Quran, وَبَلَغَتِ الْقُلُوبُ الْحَنَاجِرِ Allah says, you began thinking weird thoughts. Your hearts were in your chests. The Prophet gave them hope. And he told them the vision of the future. You're worried about these people? I am telling you, you're going to conquer Rome and Persia. You're worried about the Ghatafan tribe? You're worried about these mishmash of people outside? Yemen will be ours. Subhanallah, the vision he's thinking of, the inspiration he's giving the Sahaba. In Mecca, a group of Sahaba came complaining to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Said, Ya Rasulullah, for how long this persecution? For how long this humiliation? And he was leaning against the Kaaba, in the shade of the Kaaba. When he's surrounded and they're saying, this is not fair, this is happening, what not? The Prophet went up, he went forward, and his face visibly changed. And he said, are you in doubt as to this religion? Do you doubt this faith and religion? Are you worried that we're going to be vanquished? For wallahi, a time will come in your own lifetimes, you will see. That a lady from one corner of Yemen to the other, from Sana'a to Hadramaut, she will be traveling alone in Darul Islam with her sheep and her goats. And she will not be worried about any robber, any highway problem, nothing except the wolf against her sheep. You're worried about safety in Mecca? I'm telling you the time will come when in the peripheries of the world as you know them, there will be full safety. Once again, that vision, once again, that confidence, inspiration. Don't just worry about today's problems. The religion is guaranteed. Allah has protected this deen. It's going to be successful. What will your role be in it? In yet another incident, I can go on and on. This is the seerah for us, full of optimism. In yet another incident, they came complaining. They came because it's human nature. Wallahi, it's overwhelming. We can't help but feel a sense of tragedy, of awe. We can't help but feel a sense of sadness, of exasperation. For how long the bombs are going to fall on Gaza? For how long people are going to get killed? For how long this is going to happen? 75 years of tragedy in just that region. And the Prophet ﷺ, once again, hearing all of this, he told them in Medina, when they were being persecuted, he said, إِنَّ اللَّهَ تَعَالَى زَوَالِيَ الْأَرْضَ فَرَأَيْتُ مَشَارِقَهَا وَمَغَارِبَهَا Allah unfolded the world for me. And I saw the easternmost region. And I saw the westernmost region. And I swear by Allah, this religion shall reach the easternmost as it shall reach the westernmost. Wherever there's night and day, this religion is going to reach that place. And he said this when the Muslims couldn't even imagine beyond Mecca, beyond Medina. And he said, every single city in the world is going to have Muslims. Where are you sitting right now, O Muslims? In one of the furthest regions of the world from Mecca. Where are you sitting right now? In a land, in a doubt, in an abode. No one could have imagined in a thousand years that a masjid would be packed to capacity with 3,000 people, parking lot problems. Alhamdulillah, good problem to have. Who could have imagined this? And this is the reality across the Western world. O oh, Muslims, my message to you today will be in light of this prophetic message. Our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam inspired us with confidence. He told us to think to the future, to be visionaries, to not take the setbacks of today so that we become overwhelmed, we become pessimistic. No. That is not what our faith teaches us. My message to you today is a strong and clear message. Yes, wallahi, the world is depressing. Yes, wallahi, we're facing so many threats and challenges from within and from without. Islamophobia is on the rise. Our own Western politicians are using a hatred of Islam to increase their own popularity points. Public policy, national policy in America, in Canada, and England. We, the Muslims, have become an important issue in politics. No politician will run except that they have to take a stand on Islam and the Muslims. And one of our previous presidents was elected when he said we're going to ban all Muslims. That made him even more popular. We have become a national talking point. 
فيا ذلي ويا خجلي إذا ما قال لي ربي أما استحييته تعصيني ولا تخشى من العتب وتخفي الذنب عن خلقي وتأبى في الهوى قربي فتب مما جنيت عسى تعود إليه